Welcome to video four of the Lead Guitar Quick Start series. In this lesson, we're gonna expand your scale library by learning a shape for the major pentatonic scale. You're gonna be able to use this scale over the same jam track that we used in the last lesson when you were working on your major scale. And this is gonna give you a new color to use in your solos. The major pentatonic scale is a really important scale just because it's so versatile and you can use it in so many different kinds of music. Now, if you remember in the last lesson, I told you that the major scale is a seven note scale, right? And then it just repeats. What we're basically doing for the major pentatonic scale is just taking two notes out of each octave of the major scale. So we're leaving the first note in there, one, leaving two in there as well, three is there. We're leaving that fourth note out though and skipping straight to the fifth note. Leaving the sixth in there leaving the seventh out, don't play the seventh, and skipping straight to the octave. So penta, meaning five, pentatonic scale, right, means a five note scale. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and then back to the octave. The cool thing about the standard pentatonic scale shapes is they only have two notes per string, so you get a way different feel, and it's a lot more even feeling too. So let's jump into the scale shape. Remember all the tips I've given you, relax with your picking hand and your fretting hand, come right behind the frets, all those things. So start off on our G root note right here with your middle finger. Then your pinky's gonna grab the fifth fret. So no different from our major scale shape that we learned in the last lesson so far. From there, go over to the A string, second fret, first finger, and then you're gonna skip up to the fifth fret with your pinky. So those are the two notes on that string. So get that chunk under your fingers. And then you can throw in the notes on the D string, which are the exact same pattern as the notes on the A string. So you're gonna play second fret of the D string with your first finger and the fifth fret with your pinky. And remember, looking for repeating patterns like this is a way to help you memorize scale shapes faster. So get those under your fingers, and then try to throw in the rest of the scale. On to the next string, the G string, you're gonna have your index finger, or your first finger on the second fret, and your third finger is gonna grab the fourth fret. So those are the two notes on that string. Get those down, then throw the rest of the scale. And again, this may take you a while, but that's fine. You don't have to have this down right now. Take a couple of weeks or a couple of months to work on this. All right, the last two strings, the B string and the E string, are really cool because they're the exact same pattern too. They match. So middle finger, third fret. Pinky or fourth finger on the fifth fret. So get those two down. Add in the rest of the scale. And then, like I said, it's the exact same pattern on the high E string. So second finger, third fret. Fourth finger, fifth fret. Then add in the rest of the scale. And you'll probably notice when you start going through the scale shape more and more that you're using a, your pinky an awful lot. And your pinky may not be the strongest finger on your hand. You may be having a hard time with it, but you have to work on it at some point. So now's a good time to do it. The cool thing about major pentatonic scales is they sound great over their corresponding major chords. I'll tell you what I mean by that. If I have a G major chord that's being played, I am guaranteed that a G major pentatonic scale is gonna sound great over that chord. So work on that scale, get it down. One thing I wanna make sure you're aware of as you're going through this, again, is to just memorize where the root notes are. So if you're practicing your scale, be aware that there's a root note there on the fifth fret of the D string. 
And there's a root note there on the third fret of the high E string as well. One thing that you're going to want to develop as you start getting in more and more into lead guitar is muting. Um, one thing that kind of separates a good sounding lead guitar player from a not so good sounding lead guitar player is only having the strings and the notes ringing out that you mean to be ringing out. So I'll show you an example of this. I'm going to play through this scale and I'm just going to kind of let all the strings ring out as I go. You'll see what I mean. Listen. <laughs> Now, if you were listening to that scale as I was going through it, you could probably hear all the open strings ringing out as I was playing all the notes there. And there are basically two ways to keep that from happening. One is muting the strings you're not playing with your fretting hand, and the other one is muting the strings you're not playing with your picking hand. So in this lesson, I'm going to give you some tips for muting the strings you're not playing with your fretting hand. Check this out. I mean, so far, we, I've told you that good fingered posture is coming right down on the tips of your fingers, right? Now, that's not always the case with lead guitar. Check it out. If I have my finger really straight down on the string, what I want to do is kind of just slightly let it brush over against the A string. That way, if I accidentally hit that A string while I'm playing the notes on the low E string, it's not going to ring out. Same thing if I play the second note on that low E string. My pinky is just barely laying over and brushing up against that A string just to make sure it stays quiet. And do that throughout the entire scale. So my index finger, when I play this note on the A string, is brushing up against the D string right here and keeping it quiet. And my pinky again is brushing up against the D string right here just to make sure it doesn't ring on if I accidentally brush up against it. So that's how you can stop unwanted strings ringing out with your fretting hand. In the next lesson, when we learn the next scale, I'll show you how to do muting with your picking hand too. So pull up the same jam track that we used in the last lesson and work on your major pentatonic scale. Work on just getting the shape down. Once you have that down, work on kind of emphasizing the root notes, land on them, kind of pause on them, and then just start trying to make up your own little phrases, licks, and solos with the major pentatonic scale. You can even kind of mix in and go back and forth between the major scale shape that you learned and this major pentatonic scale shape. There's no right or wrong, just have fun with it and this is what it might sound like. In the next lesson, we're going to learn a new skill, the minor pentatonic guitar skill, and that's arguably the most popular skill of all time for the guitar, so get ready for that. If you have any questions about this major pentatonic skill, just leave them here below in the comments, and I'll get back to you there. Or you can just email me again, nate at guitarsystem.com. See ya.